beginning at an altitude of 1,000 miles and extending an additional 25,000 miles, lay lethal bands of radiation called the Van Allen radiation belts. Every space mission in history with humans on board, from both the United States and Soviet Union, from the first in 1961 to the present, has been well below this deadly radiation field. Mercury, Gemini, Soyuz, Skylab, the Space Shuttle, all maintained altitudes well below 1,000 miles. All except Apollo. In 1998, the Space Shuttle flew to an altitude of 350 miles, one of its highest altitudes ever, hundreds of miles below the beginning of a field of radiation that was so severe that the astronauts inside of their shielded spacecraft and inside of their shielded spacesuits saw flashes of light with their eyes shut that they described as shooting stars due to radiation penetrating first the shuttle's shielding, then their spacesuit shielding, then their skulls, and finally the retinas of their closed eyes. As a result, CNN issued the following report noting NASA's unpredicted surprise. The radiation belt surrounding Earth may be more dangerous for spacewalking astronauts than previously believed. Scientists say the phenomena known as the Van Allen belts can spawn killer electrons when the Earth's magnetic field changes. These electrons that are being studied could have an important effect not only on satellites, which has happened in the past, but could also affect the astronauts by creating large doses of radiation that could influence their health. The electrons can penetrate through various materials, including spacesuits, and can pass through, in fact, the walls of the space station, and can create high charges deep inside of these objects.